Okay, hi. This is completely uh, extemporaneous and unrehearsed, but I'm just open to your file and uh, give it a shot. Let's see. I'm going to go over here. Open this up. Zoom in. All right, my, my first impulse, I've never tried to do this. And it's a good thing you sent me the file because I never would have figured it out on my own because I've never seen this done. Uh, and just between us girls, I don't think it's very important. But nevertheless, if you ask the question, I'll address it to the degree I can. Okay, I'm going to go back to plan view and go to uh, display options. I have two monitors, so it opened on, on the second monitor. Let me drag it over here. Okay, I'm going to go to roofs, hit the R key and go to the roofs and unlock, find uh, gutters and unlock it. By default, it's turned off and locked. I'm going to turn it on and unlock it. And I'm going to go back to the to this camera view. And, and also, this is a different display options for this camera. So I'm going to unlock it in this one also. See, it's still locked. And turn it on. Okay, and I'm going to click on this uh, gutter, which I can now uh, select. Well, okay, I don't see much going on there. I selected it, but I couldn't really do much with it. I'm going to extend this. No, I'm not. I'm going to break it first. Yeah, I'm going to put a break break line in it and turn it 90 degrees, and then extend it. I don't know. I'm just like I said. This is completely unrehearsed. Now you can see that this is it extended all right, but it didn't follow the roof line. Okay. So that's not very workable. And uh, one of the first things I thought, well, I click on it and, and maybe I could bend it like a 3D molding polyline, but uh, it's it's not selecting. Let me shift select it and see if that helps. No. So that's not very workable. i click here and put that back where it was. Get rid of the break and go back there and see if I can bend this one around the corner. I'm going to, I tried extending it right before I started making the video and it seemed to pop back. Okay, well it didn't pop back this time. We'll break it right on the corner and turn it and then go to the camera and see if I can bend it back up. Okay, there's that one that I, I extended. But I, I don't see any handles. I can't move it. So that doesn't work. All right, so what else can we do? I'm going to get rid of that break and put it back where it was. All right. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is go back to this uh, elevation camera and draw a line. And it'll, I'll snap that. I don't know what that red line is. Maybe you drew that there, but it's snapping to it. Or Yeah. Snap to it. I'm going to draw a line like that. Now I'm going to select it and convert it to a 3D molding polyline. See, the software kind of figured out, since I'm drawing in an elevation, I drew a two-dimensional CAD line, that this is the only possible choice in terms of converting it to a 3D object. So we'll go with that. And <clears throat> now I have to assign, I don't want the square molding on there, so I'm going to delete that one and add new. I'm going to go to uh, library browser and I guess it's exteriors. Yeah, gutters. I don't remember which one this is. I guess I got to look. But I'm going to just stick that on there for demonstration purposes. Probably the wrong one. And you can see that that's going to the top of the CAD line. So we need to open the dialog box and tell it to be to the top. It was to the bottom. Like that. And um, let's see what that looks like in a camera view. Ah, okay. Let me open this roof plane here and find out what the actual <coughs> molding profile looks like. Where's gutter? Bidia, bidia, bidia. That's all, folks. I don't see it. Where's the gutter tab? Ridge, rafter tails. 
Uh-oh, I'm going to have to remember. I'm going to have to remember where that is. Free shadow boards. Used to be in the in the roof in the roof dialog. Where is that stupid thing? Maybe it's under build roof. Or it's a build roof dialog. <laughs> I'm showing my age here. Where's the build roof dialog? <laughs> Day. <clears throat> Okay, we'll find it this way. I can't find the icon, so we'll go here. Uh, gutter, here it is. Okay, default gutter. All right, I put the wrong profile on there. Big surprise. We'll click on that and uh, delete that and add new and go back. I wonder if there's one that's named default. <laughs> I don't see it there, do you? <clears throat> OG... Uh, man, I don't see it. Ain't that weird that they would have a default gutter profile, but it's not in the library library browser. Well, that sucks. Like I said, I told you I, this is extemporaneous. I've never done this before. <laughs> so let's see. That was in the build roof dialog. Gutter, default gutter. Isn't that weird? They've got the, that there, but it's not in the library browser. That's, that's kind of rude. Oh. We want to go open. Yeah, that's the one that's currently on there. Maybe I missed it the first time. I don't see it. I guess I'd have to draw the stupid thing. Okay. Well, in, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'm going to uh, draw a new one. We'll do uh, an elevation camera here. And turn off the show sheet. Well, all right, I'll leave it on. I don't see the icon right off. Okay, we'll just draw this, the thing. I think it's weird to have a default gutter profile, but it's not in the library browser. It gets goofy. I guess that's something I ought to put in the suggestion box at Chief Talk or something. That's fairly close. I'm going to hit the control key so I can match that angle. That's pretty close. Well, no, not. We need to get it per pretty close to perfect. Wheel in there and use the control key to get the angle just so. There. Well, you're getting your money's worth. Uh, I'm going to take that and uh, add it to the library. Yeah, add to library. And there it is. I'm going to change the name to what it sh should have already been in the library browser. Just make it easier to find once I'm ready to do this. Okay, I'm going to close this. Close that. Gosh, no, I don't want to save that. We'll open this one. Whoops. Okay, there it is. And uh, open that up. Oh, it's just a line. I need to convert it again. Convert it to 3D molding polyline. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it, since that's the one I just re most recently added to the library, it picked it up. And, of course, it's on. it defaults to make, extruding from the top, so I do that. That didn't look right, but uh, let's look at it in an isometric camera. Anyway, this is what you're going to have to do since uh, it's not programmed to work the way you'd like it to work. So you're just going to have to do this manually whenever you want to do it. 
I'm going to put a break there and wind that up. I'm going to look at this in an isometric camera because it doesn't look right. Oh, yeah, look, it, you can tell by looking at this that the dimensions are off a little bit. But such is the life of somebody uh, that has to be a perfectionist. Yeah, see, there it is. It's way too big. God, it's ugly. <laughs> Get the material and put it over there. That's like totally goofy looking. Let's see if there's some way I can fix it up. Uh, to bottom, to top. We'll try that. We'll uncheck inside. It's still goofy looking, isn't it? Oh, I see. It's way off the wall. I couldn't tell in, in an elevation camera that it was off. I'm going to use... I'm going to shift select it. See, it's selected now. I'm going to press the shift key and select it again so I can use this tool here, point to point move. I want to move it exactly just that way. That's a little bit better. It's a lot more trouble. Than, well, obviously these dimensions are off, and I'm not a metric guy, so I'm just going to guess. Looks like it's about twi twice too too big this way. So width wise, I think that would be let's play it at 125. That's closer. Uh, make it 100 millimeters. And I'm a total I'm a total American, so I'm just guessing. I can't think with the uh, metric. I'll go 100 and see how that how that plays. See, it's still too tall. I'd say 80. That's pretty close. Now I wonder why the material went bluey. We'll do the material again. Okay, that's beginning to be relatively decent. If you wanted it perfect, you'd have to wrangle it around and so forth. I, you gave me a problem I've never had to solve before, so, you know, this may not be very elegant, but it, it's workable. Now, it looks like I need to knock off a few more millimeters there <clears throat> on the height. Let's go 75. Almost perfect. I think that's that's good enough for my demonstration. But that's how you would do that. See, you can't just natively turn it on or or click on something in a dialog box. You just have to create a 3D molding polyline. But you can do it. And a lot of people bitch about cheap architect software. It can't do this and it, and it and it it doesn't do that. It's not for me. It's not that sort of thing. There's plenty of tools there. All you have to do is put your thinking cap on and say, Well, how can I get this done? And that Chief Architect uh, gives enough tools where you can generally solve most things if you're willing to solve it. If you want to lay lay on your back and, and be a victim, well, that's you know a per individual choice. But I, 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 if you just really look at how can I solve this, there's a way to solve it, and this works. And then you can take this and copy paste it around and rotate it and so forth. Now these these things are not very easy to rotate. Let me go back to plan view. Well, I got a bunch of cameras open, don't I? I can't even see this thing. There it is. Let me just make a copy of this. Now see, there's no copy command here. But if you press the shift key and then select it again, then you get the copy command. Let's see. You have to select it, press the shift key, click on it again. That's not doing it now. Maybe I need a control. No. Shift key, left click. There we go. Now I got it. Now I can't hit the copy command, but uh, nothing happened. I copied it in place. There it is. There's a copy. Let's see. If, yeah, there's the original. There's the copy. Then you could take this. It's just with molding profiles. 
it's not like a cabinet or something. You have to select it, press the shift key, and select it again. Then you get that. Then you get the copy commands and rotate and and so forth. You get the idea. I just found that out by trial and error. Uh, you know, trying to do stuff like this, and then we could take this and drag it over here and rotate it. Oh, wait a minute. Rotating it probably isn't what I would want to do. I'd want to use this uh, transform replicate tool and reflect it vertically. Yeah, that's what we want to do. And then uh, uh, I think I want to use point to point. Take it right there. I'm going to check it with a camera. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, it looks like it worked. This kind of crap takes uh, <clears throat> practice. It looks like I've got some aligning to do and so forth. But you get the idea. <clears throat> you make one for a project, and you can copy paste it around and adjust it. These things are twitchy too. When you sometimes when you adjust them, they fly, they turn inside out and sideways. But it just takes patience. But that's. I think I've done my job, and I, and I hope uh, you appreciate the effort I went to, and have a good day. I am out of here.